Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just recently bought these acrylic Arteza paints and I know there are probably a million reviews about this um, product. I figured I would just, you know, jump on that bandwagon and create my own review because I wanted these anyways and I've heard good things about them and I really wanted a new set of acrylics to go with my oil paints. So uh, here we are. <laughs> So anyway, um, you get a bunch of colors. I got the 24 set. I know there's also a 60 piece set, which is awesome. This was only like $20, $25, and then the 60 set is only like $45. So if you want all the colors, I mean, this is already a lot, but if you want an array of colors, they also have that 60 set. And um, I like this too because it gives you all the different colors and it shows you the light facetness, transparency, and then the pig pigment number, which I don't know, maybe if you have another set, you would need that pigment number. Anyway, let's open her up. Alrighty, so you get these sets. These are awesome, actually. These are way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Like, I literally thought the tubes were gonna be like half the size, so these are actually pretty good size. Like, I don't know if you can tell in my hand, but these are not bad not bad all right so i guess you get all these little trays let's just pull them out these are freaking awesome i'm so excited i did hear though in a different review that the colors in the tube don't match the color of the picture on the outside like let's just see real quick I mean, that looks pretty close. If you ask me, that looks pretty close to the color on the outside. Maybe it's a little different. It looks closer in person on camera, it's reading differently, but anyway, I'm excited to try these out. Alrighty, so we are just gonna hop right into these swatches. I wanted you guys to get a, an accurate color or like idea of what the colors look like when, you know, swatched out of the tube on paper. They are some really awesome, vibrant colors, yet you still get a good array of different shades. There's a, quite a different, a lot of different blues and a lot of different greens and yeah overall i'm really happy with the color selection and like i said the vibrancy of these colors are just fantastic and then i did want to mention the transparency of some of these um like that pink color i just laid down it's called rose and it's defined as a semi-transparent whereas it's actually extremely transparent like probably the most transparent color in all of the whole set <laughs> um, so just know that before you start painting with it you cannot cover anything with that color unless you mix it with a white or a different opaque color and then um, most of the greens are semi-transparent as well except for that emerald green and then the ultramarine blue is the only one in the package that's marked as a fully transparent color even though like i said that rose color should be marked as a fully transparent color so just keep that in mind when you buy the set other than that these colors are super opaque and thick um, they're definitely not a professional grade paint but they're pretty dang close and they works for me because I'm not really a professional grade acrylic painter yet but I'm happy with this set and I'm happy with the quality and effects that I can get with the paints so far so I did want to show you how these paints interact with each other by doing this quick little abstract piece for you like I said, I had no plan really when I started this piece. I was just like, I'm just gonna pick some colors that I enjoy painting with and see what happens. And so I started this piece with some nice warm colors, which is quite a change for me because I usually paint things in cooler tones like purples and greens and stuff. So anyway, um, I hope this gives you an idea of how the paints work together. They blend really nicely. And I was kind of using a um, glazing satin uh, liquid medium but most of the time you don't really need it just mix them with some water to mix the colors and you're totally good obviously just don't use too much water and um, the funny thing about this painting is I end up kind of covering most of it at the end so I guess that's a good thing because you can kind of see um, <laughs> the covering power of these paints I just didn't like where it was heading so I end up covering half of what I paint here in the beginning but that's okay um, this painting doesn't fully get finished at the end of this video because it's still kind of a work in progress because I'm not sure where I want it to go but um, anyway I also want to talk about the different sets of Arteza acrylic paints that you can get so like I said this is the premium 24 set and it's priced around $21.98 but there is like a coupon on Amazon for $2 like all you do is say I want to save two bucks and you click the button and you save two dollars so it comes out to about $19 for this 24 set and then there's also the kids tempura set and that one's just going to be more like less quality paint in comparison to this premium set because um, obviously it's marketed towards kids so you're going to be different type of quality there and then there's also the 60 set of premium like i mentioned in the beginning of the video and that set is around 42 dollars so it's going to be double the amount of money but you're getting more than double the amount of product 
mostly you're just getting an array of colors, like the whole rainbow if you want it. And then there's also the pouch acrylics by Arteza, and those ones are 4.06 ounces of product, whereas the um, the tubes of paint that I have in this premium set are only 0 0.074 ounces of product in each tube. So it's definitely a difference in um, you know amount <laughs> of paint in each one. So the only reason I would suggest getting the pouches instead of these tubes is if you're painting like really big canvases, you're going to need that much more paint. Whereas if you're just doing small little pieces like I'm doing here, you only really need a small amount of paint. Like these tubes are going to last me a pretty decent amount of time just because I've never really do huge pieces. But if you're going big, you got to, you know, <laughs> invest in those bigger amounts of paint. And then, um, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this set of acrylics. Like I said, it's perfect for me. 24 colors is more than enough if you're a beginning painter like I am, just because I feel like it's very overwhelming if you have too many colors to choose from. It just becomes too much, and then you start using too many colors, and then things get really muddy really quickly and turn brown, and then you forget which colors you use to mix what, and it just, it just becomes too much of a mess. <laughs> so I recommend getting the smaller set if you're a beginner. Um, and even if you're an advanced artist, I think these paints are great if you're looking for a low bed, like a, not a low budget, but like a lower cost, decent paint. Even if you're an intermediate artist, I think this is a great way to go. Um, like I said, I'm very happy with it and I hope this review helps you in some way. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to ask and I will try to answer them for you to my best of my ability. So I think that is about it. If this video is useful to you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope it answered any of your questions you're having about buying this set of Arteza paints. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. And I think that's about it. So yeah, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye guys.